Severance is an American science fiction psychological thriller streaming television series created by Dan Erickson and directed by Ben Stiller and Iofi McArdle. It stars Adam Scott, Britt Lauer, Christopher Walken, John Totoro and Patricia Arquette. The plot follows Mark, played by Scott, an employee of Lumen Industries who agrees a severance program in which his non-work memories are separated from his work memories. The series premiered on Apple TV Plus on February 18, 2022. It received acclaim from critics and audiences who praised its cinematography, production design, musical score, story and performances. In April 2022, the series was renewed for a second season. The cast includes Adam Scott as Mark Scout, a worker for Lumen Industries and the Macro Data Refinement Division, who is part of the Severance program. He is grieving the death of his wife, Gemma. Zach Cherry as Dylan George, Mark's severed co-worker and particularly enjoys company perks. Britt Lauer as Heli Riggs, a new employee who replaces Petey. Tramwell Tillman as Seth Milchick, the supervisor on the severed floor. Jen Tullock as Devon Hale, Mark's pregnant sister, who later gives birth to baby Eleanor. Deacon Knackman as Miss Casey, the welder's counsellor on the severed floor. Michael Chennis as Rick and Hale, Devon's husband and a self-help author. John Totoro as Irvin Bailiff, Mark's severed co-worker who is a stickler for company policy and drawn to Bert. Christopher Walken as Bert Goodman, the severed chief of the optics and design division who is drawn to Irving. And Patricia Arquette as Harmony Coble, Mark's boss. Ben Stiller first read the screenplay to the pilot episode at least five years before the show premiered, calling it the longest thing I've ever worked on. The script was submitted by Dan Erickson as a writing sample to Stiller's production company, Red Hour Productions, and passed to Stiller by development executive Jackie Cohen. Stiller said he enjoyed the story's contributions to the workplace comedy. In January 2017, Stiller invited Adam Scott to star. In November of 2019, Apple TV Plus gave Severance a series order, with Stiller directing and Scott cast in the lead role. Stiller was only attached to direct the pilot, but he decided to direct several more episodes as the series entered development. The Bell Labs home door complex, which stood in for Lumen HQ, was used as a main set. Production designer Jeremy Hindle blended corporate looks from the 1960s, 70s and 80s for the show's distinctive look, and cited modernist architect Eero Saren as the influence for the building design. Stiller said the prop master reconstructed old computers so the actors could actually do the work presented on the show in order to get adjusted to the office setting. Now at first when I started watching the show I wasn't quite sure. It just seemed weird, confusing, strange and frankly downright odd. But like any good show you need to let it breathe and develop its own voice as it were. And by the end I was taken by this fantastic groundbreaking television series. The concept is so original and clever, and frankly downright scary, and maybe in theory not so far-fetched even. For me this show is a commentary on corporate governance, and how we are a slave to our jobs. After all, this is where we spend most of our lives, working and dedicating ourselves to what we think is the pursuit of making a living, but rather is adding to the spinning wheel of the big corporation we are a part of, adding to the numbers, sacrificing your own well-being so that those at the top can make more and more money. This also plays out the idea of dealing with life, whether it be with depression or huge trauma, and how we take so many pills and sedatives to numb our feelings, to escape from the harsh reality of our surroundings. I found the concept of having an innie, as it were, the inner work self, and the outie, the person who lives on the outside, who has the so-called freedom, quite fascinating. Even though these are the same people, they are referred to in different lights, and act as different people, and refer to themselves in the third person. The story is absolutely superb as you go on a journey with Adam Scott's Mark S and slowly learn more and more about Lumen and why he chose to do this job and be severed as it were. The twists and turns are astounding and the show keeps you on the edge of your seat throughout the series. There are amazing performances from all the leads but particularly Adam Scott. He is absolutely fantastic here as Mark as he plays his innie and outie in such a phenomenal subtle way that makes them seem like different people just with the slightest of touches. We are also introduced to Heli R, played here brilliantly by Britt Lauer. She is now new to Lumen and hates every second of working here, but her outie won't release her and doesn't believe that she's desperately unhappy inside. Her rapport with her co-workers is fascinating to watch play out, particularly her relationship with Mark. It's another stellar performance here by John Totoro, who is such a stunning character actor and I love all of his work generally. Also, the development of the relationship he begins with Bert, played here by Christopher Walken, is just stunning to watch play out on our screens. And to boot, it's absolutely wonderful to see Christopher Walken acting again. I thoroughly enjoyed Zach Cherry here as the foul-mouthed, paranoid yet hard-working Dylan, almost one of the strongest, most decisive characters in the show. Tramel Tillman as Seth Milchik is absolutely 
perfect in his role as the cold, ruthless, calculating and frankly just unnerving surveyor of the severed floor. He oversees everything and is the right-hand man of Harmony Cobell, another phenomenal performance here by Patricia Arquette, who's acted in some of the best TV shows over the last few years, and she is a big reason why they are stunning. I also particularly enjoyed seeing Mark as his outie interacting with his sister and brother-in-law. It just adds another layer to this already wonderful show. The character of Miss Casey is also quite fascinating and somewhat perplexing. The show portrays the company Lumen and its founder, Keir Egan, as almost like a cult-like organization, and the way they are represented is somewhat spine-chilling, as you see how their pursuit for complete and utter control. The building and the sets are absolutely perfect, as their cold white fluorescent style rules over the workers within them. I also have to compliment the outstanding work he's done here by Ben Stiller. Primarily known as, of course, a comedy actor, his directing in this show is absolutely on point and lends perfectly to the feeling of this fantastic show. Not to mention the absolutely fantastic music by Theodore Shapiro. Also to point out, the theme tune is absolutely stunning for this show, and it became an extra character, if you will. Also, the opening sequence graphics are just so creative and so visionary, they just blew me away every time I watched them. This is an audacious, mysterious, and brings a fresh insight to the perils of corporate drudgery. Severance is the complete package in every single way, and I cannot wait for season two. Severance gets a 9 out of 10.